You're welcome to the secret place. A place of revival. May you remain blessed as you watch this video to the end in Jesus' name. Amen. And now in chapter 28, you know what he called it? He said, You know, reading from verse 3. That's what I say, Keta. Now Samuel was dead, and all Israel lamented him and buried him in Ramah, even in his own city. Samuel is it, you go, when Sally is it, so who they want to see in Ramah, Nilure. And Saul had put away all those that had familiar spirit and witches out of the land. Saul is it, you want to go to the house, and you want to go to the house, and you want to go to the house, and the Philistines gathered themselves together and came and picked in Shunem. And Saul gathered all Israel together, they picked. In Gibeah, our Philistine is the part of our John Wamba. Once he does it, Sunemu, Salus, the Pope of West Valley, John wants it to do, see Gibeah. And when Saul saw the host of the of the Philistines, he was afraid and he sat greatly trembled. In Batis, Salus, the old one, our Philistine, now, Osi, Osi Beru, I arrested Warri, notice verse 6. Yes, yes, I kept up. When Saul inquired of the Lord, the Lord answered him. No. Why should the Lord answer? A man that has gone back into impatience. Why should the Lord answer? A man that had gone back into disobedience. Why should the Lord answer? A man that had accepted hatred and jealousy into his life. Why should the Lord answer? A man that will command the priests of God to be killed and destroyed. Why should God answer? A man that was seeking for David who delivered the children of Israel from Goliath. Seeking for him to kill him. And it don't want David, and it don't bow my side in Lakuro, Lawa Goliath, the only one made a lot of The Lord has said him not. Only what could die alone. Verse 7. Yes, I take it. Then said Saul unto his servant. So Lucy, we put away and share that. Seek me a woman that has a familiar spirit. Ever me while being Catonia, my book, that I may go to her. The music all and inquire of her. The music very loud. And the servant said unto him. I will not share that with me. Behold, there is a woman that has a familiar spirit attender. Oh, be can you endure it? You near me about to sorrow. And Saul disguised himself. Why? Well, you know why? Oh my and just like if you here, you be coming to this revival center. You be coming to this great healing hall. You be coming to this place where God is saving, sanctifying, and baptizing in the Holy Ghost. You have been an usher. You have been a member of the choir. You have been a song leader. And you have been a worker in the ministry. I have been just a member of good standing in the ministry. You have been a house fellowship leader. But you have gone into disobedience, impatience, hatred, bitterness, and you have grudge against the ministers of God who are teaching you the word of God. And you pray there is no answer. You call and there is no response. And the God of Abraham, Jacob, and Isaac is no more your God. And now you want to seek to the Habalis. How will you do it? Of course, you will have to wear sunshade. You will have to wear agbada. And you will have to disguise yourself. Put on a hat. Have a working seat. So that nobody who has seen you here will be able to recognize you. You have to have the chicken under the wide agbada road. And then you have to go in another man's car. You have to disguise yourself. And go to a witch or a wizard. And you people who are looking at me right now, who have heard the word of salvation, the word of repentance, you have heard the word of reconciliation with God, you have heard the testimonies of how God is healing and delivering people. You have been coming here reading the Bible, studying the Bible. You have come up here to give testimony that you have the peace of God, the joy of God, the life of God. You have told us your name is written the book of life. The time will come in your life when disobedience is tempting you, testing you, and drawing you. 
When you if you yield to impatience, be over para repent. If you yield to rebellion against the word of God, the Lord will no more answer your prayer. You will call him. We know I no more answer. And you have to go to the witches and wizards in town. But I'm praying for all of you here this day. That God forbid that happening to you in Jesus' name. But it happened to Saul. It is guys himself. He went to a week. And in verse in verse 8, Saul disguised himself and put on other raiment, other garments. And he went and two men with him. And he came to the woman by night, not by day. And he said, I pray thee, divine unto me by the familiar spirit. And bring him up, whom I shall name unto thee. And the woman said unto him, Behold, thou knowest what Saul has done, how he has cut off those that are familiar spirits and wizards out of the land. Wherefore then layest thou a snare for my life to cause me to die? She said, Saul must not hear. Which Saul will not hear. That Saul is the right standing before you. He's no my child of God. He's but sleeping. Impatience and disobedience has crowded out the life of God in his life. And the man, the woman was still afraid of Saul. Then, then said, then Saul, swear unto her by the Lord, saying, as the Lord liveth, thou shalt, there shall no punishment happen to thee for the sin. Do you know what the Bible says in First Corinthians, Chronicles, chapter ten, verses thirteen and fourteen? Saul died for his transgression which he committed against the law even against the word of the law which he kept now and also for asking counsel of one that had a familiar spirit to inquire of a I don't know how you want to die but I want to die with the peace of God in my life I want to die with the joy of salvation bubbling in my my soul. I want to die with the word of God filling all my heart and saturating me. I want to die with the smile of God upon my face. I want to die with the conviction and testimony that I laid my hands on the plow on the day God sent me. And I never look back. I don't know how many people today are having the same conviction in them. I don't know how many people here this afternoon are having the same decision and desire. Saying, I don't want to go back. I don't want to backslide. I don't want to go back into the juju of the world. I don't want to go back into the worldliness of the world. I want to endure to the end that I will be saved. And if you are there, you can tell the Lord this afternoon that even though others may backslide, others may go into impatience and disobedience. I have laid my hands on the plow. I will never go back. I keep on praying to the Lord. I will wait for God. I will be patient. I will be humble. I will be submissive unto the word of God. And sufficient as the grace of God will keep you until the end. I want you to go on your knees and pray unto the Lord. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And please don't forget to turn on the notification bell so that you'll be the first to know when we drop new video. God bless you.